Hi there, I'm Tommy Baggins, and I'm sure you've heard of the Anarchy server known as 2B2T, you know, the world's oldest Anarchy server in Minecraft or some such business. Well, this isn't it. This is one of its clones. It's known as 4B4T. But, not as glamorous, well, not as glamorous, but not as populated, a little less crazy, and best of all, no waiting in the queue for hours on end to get in. You just log on and join the chaos. Anyway, this is my base. I call it the Parsonage. You'll see why after a bit. And so, I think it's, yeah, sun's just now coming up, so I'll start off with the interior here. Just a nice little, there we go, nice little building here, I got my bed, got a couple of storage chests, got a furnace, got a crafting table, call them the holy trinity of Minecraft, it's kind of a bit of a running joke for me, got a little hatch up here, ladder so I can go up to the roof, alright, oh zombies look at you. Yeah, here's my garden out back. Oh, zombie just caught fire. Got in the water just in time. It's just about to start singing, burn, baby, burn. Oh, never mind. Anyway, got all kinds of stuff. Got wheat growing there, some potatoes and carrots, and some melons, some sugar cane, and some pumpkins that are going to come in eventually. Got a little chicken coop. I'm totally spider, it's still early morning and creepers, noxious little buggers. Anyway, there it is. There's my pride and joy. That is the Church of Minecraft's Holy Trinity. We already mentioned. You know, the, the crafting table, furnace, and the storage chest, or the Holy Trinity. And... Got a couple of canyons right here, so another one over here, so watch your step. And oh yeah, obelisk, <laughs> not an obelisk, monolith, that one's made of obsidian. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. Uh, yeah, I've been building these things all over the server. <laughs> ah, first pumpkin just came in. You know, I built a bunch of those, op those monoliths out of like concrete and whatnot of various colors, and and then made one out of iron. And somebody stole a bunch of the iron. I went back to check on it, and they put up a little sign thanking me for the iron. And yeah, they tore it apart and stole a bunch of it, but at least they had a sense of humor about it. That was cool. So yeah, they loaded the one and only obsidian monolith. But only one because mining obsidian is a real pain. Down here and watch the sunrise over it. Let's beg Zarathustra in obsidian. Uh, there it is. I like building them. They're simple, easy. So, uh, yeah. Here's a cathedral. One of my signature builds. Whenever I feel like building something really big, I build a cathedral. I think it's something like 36 pieces of stained glass. Uh, I think just over 2,000 blocks of diorite. A couple of doors. I don't even know how many birch planks are on the roof. And we got this. Welcome to the catacomb. Every cathedral needs a catacomb. Find a lot of the raw materials for the catacomb itself from here. We're not going to explore too deep down in here because this goes down a long way. I guess I've gotten lost down in here. And followers of the crafting table are here. Uh, you know, give credit where credit is due. I got the idea from them. <clears throat> yeah, I'd show you more of the how to come down there, but it's really just a cave. I don't get lost. 
There it is. Welcome to the Church of Minecraft's Holy Trinity. And here's the interior. Oh, let's close the door just to make sure nobody sneaks inside behind me. So, uh, we got torches in here for lighting and to keep monsters from spawning in here. We got the pews. side things and here in place of an altar we have the Holy Trinity itself Minecraft's Holy Trinity right above that yeah nice little crucifix rather interesting combination I don't know if this is slightly blasphemous or not but it's an anarchy server so I'm not gonna worry too much Speaking of slightly blasphemous, I find it slightly amusing. It torches make little like upside down crosses. Seems almost fitting for an anarchy server. It's kind of just an unfortunate side effect. Anyways, so I just, just wanted to record this just in case somebody found it and decided to trash the place. Cause that goes on in anarchy servers. One nice neat little thing over here. Here's a little cemetery. And put a lot of names on these. Eh, that maybe. Oh, here's an empty one. This one is yours. Hop on in. Yeah, a little gallows humor. And because of this one. This is where we're going to bury coronavirus when we kill it. So. Yeah. A couple of pits out in front here. Yeah. That, there it is. And there's my chicken coop. Well, yeah, so here it all is. Well, let's see if we can get everything in. There we go. We've got the graveyard over there. We've got the cathedral. We've got the parsonage. Monolith. The garden. All right. I got my chicken coop. I got a pumpkin. Then shall I start harvesting the pumpkins? And maybe I'll get some eggs from these chickens. And some sugar from the sugar cane over there. And I'll start making pumpkin pies. Yeah, well there's... I mean, I could do this just on my own on a regular, like, survival Minecraft. There's something, some added thrill, I suppose, to building something like this in a place where you know that at any moment it could be destroyed. You know, there, there are people on this server who, if they ever find it, they will smash this place. Oh, I know full well, I mean, there's a little parson here, there are people that set fire to it in a moment. That's the nature of anarchy servers in Minecraft. Actually, we kind of survived. This place has survived as long as it has. We're not really that far in the grand scheme of things from the starting point. I mean, we're, you know, this is what they call the spawn point. We're not going to say exactly where it is, but let's just say we're, we're within 100,000 blocks. Which, as far as I understand, is considered to be not tremendously far. But, then again, like I said, population here is lower than it is on, say, 2B2T, so not as many people looking. A little more wilderness. Cool salmon, very nice. So, kind of a nice little spot. 
And I think there's a village, I saw a village over there. Uh, somewhere that completely untouched. I've seen a lot of villages around here that have been trashed. Especially the closer you get to the start point. Now, well, thanks for watching, everyone. It's been a blast. Doodles!